So the other part of microscope, uh, using microscopes is to make measurements. So to make measurements, uh, we are going to use a unit of measure called a micrometer or a micron. And when we do microscopic measurements, uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is figure out what's the size of our field of view in our microscopes. So each microscope is slightly different depending on the manufacturer. Uh, but the general conversion factor that we're going to use is that one millimeter equals a thousand microns and that or one micron is equal to one one thousandth of a millimeter so it's a pretty small unit of measure i will always just refer to the micrometer as a micron so this is the greek letter mu looks like a u with a tail on both sides but that's a symbol for a micron so here's how we go through to make <coughs> measurements using our compound microscopes. First thing we need to do is determine what our field of view is. So to do this, um, you're going to do this in lab tomorrow. You're going to place a clear or transparent ruler underneath your microscope. You're going to use low power field of view and you're going to measure uh, the size of your field of view. So this will allow you to actually measure how much of an area you can see uh, using a metric ruler. So we'll place the ruler onto our stage and we'll be able to focus on that ruler. And when we do this, we'll be able to see the edge of one line and the another complete line. So that tells me the distance between here and here would be one millimeter. So we want to know our total field of view, the distance from this edge all the way to this edge. So we do have to do a little estimating because we don't know this exact distance right here. So we do have to guesstimate. So according to this diagram right here, we would say that this is one millimeter and this distance right here is 0.2 millimeters. So our total field of view is 1.2 millimeters. Sorry, the kids had to take off and go for a while, so they won't be joining me anymore. But anyways, going back to the uh, podcast, step number three, make sure you convert that measurement into micrometers. So you can simply do that by using the equator equation to take the diameter under low power, which you just figured out, or your diameter that of your microscope, which you'll have to look on your scope to figure out, um, which is equal to the diameter in millimeters times 1,000, and that will allow you to convert it into microns. So our field of view for this particular example is 1,200 microns. So once we know that, we can calculate the diameter in micrometers of the field of vision under high power using the following formula. So basically, we're going to set up a ratio or proportion because if we know that it's 1200 micrometers under 100x and we know our high power field is 400x we can simply figure out what the diameter would be under high power so we want to figure out the diameter under high power so we need to take the low power the diameter that we just figured out for low power times the magnification of our low power objective lens and then divide it by the magnification of our high power. So to plug in our numbers, we know that the diameter of our low power objective was 1200 microns. We just calculated that or measured that with our ruler times the magnification of our low power lens, which is 10. And we divide it by the magnification of our high power objective lens, which is 40. So 12 times 10 is 12,000 divided by 40 gives us a field of view under high power of 300 micrometers. Again, remember, this is an example that is teaching you how to use the microscope to make measurements. Our numbers that we're going to use in class are very different than these. Step five, estimate the size of an object seen with a microscope under low power. First, estimate what fraction of the diameter of the field it occupies, then multiply the low power diameter you calculate in micrometers by that fraction. So for instance, if we see something in our field of view and it takes up one half of our field of view, we simply have to take one half times 
1200, which is the, the diameter of our field of view. So here's an example. So if we see this object that we're looking at, this rectangle for this example, we can estimate both the width and the length. So we're going to estimate the width of this thing to take up about one-sixth of our field of view. So one-sixth, so imagine we could stack six of these to take up our whole field of view, which is the diameter of this field of view, and we're going to take one-sixth times 1,200, which would give us an estimated size of this particular object to be 200 micrometers. Now if we want to estimate the length of this object, we simply have to say, okay, well, there's some space over here, there's some space over here, so we could estimate and say, yeah, it takes up about half our field of view under low power. So we take one half times 1,200, which would give us our estimated size of 600 micrometers. So we're going to do some practice problems now. I would like you to try to figure these out on your own, and then I will review the, an review the answer for these after, we go, or after you figure them out. So here's the first example. Here's some couch hair or couch fibers underneath the microscope. So you have the red fibers woven with a white fiber. So if we want to estimate the width of the red fiber. So the width would be this distance right here. So we want to estimate that and we're assuming that we're viewing all under these or these under low power, which is 100x. So it does show that under the picture. So how would you go about figuring out the width of this red fiber and then the same thing with the white fibers what's the width of the white fibers go ahead and try to figure out the answer to that problem so hopefully you paused it and went through and did the math and if you did it correctly the width of the red would be 300 micrometers if you estimated that this took up about one-fourth of your field of view and if you estimated that this took up one-half of your field of view you would have got an answer of 600 micrometers alright so here is the water fleas so if we were to estimate the height of a water flea so height again is going to be from the top to the bottom of this little flea so we would estimate I would estimate that it takes up about two-thirds of my field of view. We're under low magnification, which is 1,200 micrometers. So two-thirds times 1,200 gives us an estimated size of 800 micrometers tall. All right, problem three. Here's all kinds of paramecium. These things have been stained, so they're a lot more visible in color. But they're all roughly the same size in length and width. So I would like you to please go ahead and calculate or estimate the size of a paramecium. So it doesn't matter which one you pick. You can pick this one. You can pick this one. They're all roughly the same size. So the width estimate and the length estimate. You need to bring the answers to this one to class tomorrow and I will call on you to make sure that you have done these correctly because you're going to be asked to do this in lab today and everyone needs to know how to make micro microscopic measurements correctly and accurately. See you in class.